Hi, I'm Rashonda, and so I'm going to be doing a video about my car. So, um, as you guys all know, I just have the best luck with my car. Um, so anyways, now my car has another dent in it. So yesterday when I was at work, um, they do car wash, and so my coworker backed my car into, um, a spot that was like, um, I guess there was two spots between, and then my car from the dumpsters, and so... With my luck, of course, when I leave work, um, I go out and the dumpster is smashed against my car. My car has a big indent and all scratched and the dumpster was stuck there. I could not move it by myself. So I was stuck at work. Um, I had to call my grandparents so I could go get the car seat in and go get Zane. Um, and I called the dumpster place and the guy was so rude. Like, I told him, you know, like, you guys... Like, I'm stuck and this would happen and blah blah blah. He's like, well that's not our problem. And I'm like, well yeah it is, the dumpster has your name on it. Like, um, he's like, yeah, but cause the, this um, hair salon, or it was some weird name, it wasn't even what the place is called, um, is renting it and blah blah blah. And so it's their responsibility and I was like, well no, it has your name on it, like it's yours. And he's like, I'm like, can't you just send someone who to move it? And he's like, we're actually not in the location where you are. We're quite far. And I'm sending my guys home right now. And pretty much, like, was a big jerk. And then I went into the hair salon. And the girl's pretty nice, but she only worked there for, like, a week. So she was trying to get a hold of the owner. Um, in the meantime, I called ICBC and started a claim. And then my grandparents got there. So I ended up going to get Zane. And I was, like, almost an hour later than usual, which is crazy. And then, um, ICBC told me to call a tow truck and get them to move it. So I finally, at 5 o'clock, the tow truck came, and the guy, like, pushed it no problem. Whereas me, I couldn't even move it. Like, I was hurting my back, I was pushing so hard. Like, weak. And then when the guy moved it, the dumpster started rolling back towards him, so he put it off nicely to the side in a different parking lot. Parking spot, I mean. But it's crazy. Like, you would think that the Northwest um, Waste should have to secure their garbage cans. It's ridiculous. Even if someone's renting it from them, they should still be responsible for securing. So how it's going to work is ICBC is going to investigate and then go after whichever company they find at fault. I guess it depends on the contracts. I really hope they find um, Northwest Waste at fault because the guy was an asshole. And he's like, we'll see about that when I said, well, I'm calling ICBC about it. And he was like a jerk and stuff. So, um... Yeah, never rent a dumpster from there if you're starting your own business, because the guy's a jerk, so I definitely don't recommend them. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, don't park by dumpsters, ever. Especially when you have bad luck with your car is getting hit. <coughs> so I'll post a picture of, um, my car, and of course it was on my driver's door, and at the very front of the car, and it was backed in, so it wasn't even like I could drive out without scratching it, and then there was a car next to my car, so it wasn't even like I could pull sideways. And then go, nope, I was completely stuck between the car and the dumpster. And it would have scratched my car way more if I pulled out. It would have been scratched all the way down. Like, man, I just have the worst luck. But at least it's drivable. But it's right on the driver's door at the very front. And right above the wheel. So, yeah. Don't park by dumpsters. Thanks for watching. Bye.